Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, I would like to show you how can we export the modified data frame into Excel and CSV and TXT files. So for that, uh, we'll first we'll read the data frame. We'll take the some existing data frame and we'll up update it and we'll export it into the Excel and CSV and text file. So first of all, I will import the pandas by using some alias name and all the functions should be called with the help of alias name. So now here, uh, there is a function we have seen. Uh, first of all, we'll create a data frame. So some D is equal to uh, read Excel. So I am having some Excel sheet. So I will give the path of this Excel sheet and, and I will create the data frame. So here is my Excel sheet, right? So I will copy the path. So go to the property so that you can find the path for every file so this is the location so you just copy this location and you here give the name of the excel sheet xlsx right give the double slashes yeah and this should be called with the help of pd and after that load the data from df is equal to so df is also a variable so df is equal to so pd dot data frame and pass this d to the as a parameter to the data frame function so that the df will be created that means the data frame will be created so just wait for a while so meanwhile you just subscribe to your our channel to get a more videos on these python libraries it's still in execution so it completes its execution so now if you can check print uh, df so that we'll get the complete data right which is available in the excel sheet now in the previous sessions we have seen how to add a new column here so i will just do the updation and i will load the same to the a new file so for that i am doing the addition so df of uh, let us go with the total is equal to df of so give the marks of this one so telugu plus df of english plus df of maths plus df dot science so this this thing we have already seen in the previous session right so just we are adding one column that is a total which gives the total of all the marks so for that we are just writing the total sorry yeah So here we have to not close the braces. Now you can observe here. So if you go with the DF, you can get the a new column called total. So previously that was not there. Now we had this total. So now I want to update this one. That means I want to export this particular data frame to the Excel sheet. So for that, so in order to read the Excel, we are having the function called read Excel. Similarly, if you want to save the data frame, updated data frame to the Excel, we are having the function called so df dot to Excel, df dot to Excel, and give the location and give the file name here. So I will give. Uh, new marks dot x l s x so see i will show you so give the double quotations so that the updated the updated data frame will be stored into this one so if you execute this one we can observe it was executed so that so here you can observe so on the desktop you got this one new marks you open this one so we'll get the total Okay, the total was added. So you can observe here, the total was added. So we got this total in the updated data frame. So here, one thing you can observe, uh, I will show you the actual data. That means a marks, marks.excel. So this is the original thing. That's a marks.excel. 
so here you can observe all the contents so roll number name of the student telugu english so max some uh, subject marks but here we got the one other column that is the index so if here you have modified that means we have added the total of all the marks and we have added to the data frame and that modified data frame we are saving into new marks.excel so we have we got this total marks and apart from this column we are having a one more column called indexes so you, if you don't want to have this index see there is a one parameter called uh, one uh, variable called see uh, index is equal to give the false index is equal to false execute this one so that you can observe the new file whatever the data frame is created to the excel will will don't get this see you don't get the index value here you can observe here right so this is a new marks you can observe the title so here there is a no index so if you give the no if index is equal to false by default it will be true if you give the index is equal to false in the updated excel sheet will not get the index values and similarly we can also save the same updated data frame to dot csv so dot csv and here uh, we'll see the same thing we'll copy right so here instead of giving this one give the csv dot csv file so if you execute this one we get uh, the csv file you can observe here this is a excel file this is a csv file and if you open the csv file again we'll get the updated total okay in the original file we are not having the total we have created a column and we have calculated the sum of all the subjects and placed in the column total so that will be reflected in the this one so you can observe here this is a new marks dot csv and also we can export into dot txt so df dot 2 so go with the csv file but give the extension text file so here instead of giving my new marks uh, dot excel sa or csv we will give txt and you can execute this one so that the text file will be created so you can observe here text file is created so you can observe here so there is a no order so you can differentiate this one with a separator scp attribute so we know the scp attributes scp is equal to so give the tab space so that so each and every column will be separated with the tab right so like this we can use the r2 csp right so this is how we can export the updated or a modified data frame into an excel or a csv or into a text file so in order to convert into an excel file you need to go with this function to excel and uh, you need to give the path where it, it has to be saved and if if you give the false as a value to the index so automatically the index will not be presented in this generated excel sheet similarly dot i mean to a csv that is a csv file and in order to uh, create the text file also we need to go with the same function that is to underscore csv right so hope you understood this one so if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much